We're with Cooper Simpson. Coop, you've got some news to tell the Freo fans. Yeah, I'm excited to announce that I've got a two-year extension until 2027. Made your debut only a couple of weeks ago against the Bulldogs in front of the home fans. What was that moment like for you? That was a surreal moment. It was unreal to go out there in front of those fans and, and get a win. So, yeah, it was a great moment. You had that fam- the family there as well. Uh, must have been a, a special feeling having them in the rooms and in the crowd to see your first game. Yeah, it was really special for them to make the trip over. They've been to every game so far, so it wasn't a surprise, but um, it was good to have them over and let them see the moment and be a part of it. Game two on the MCG, that must have been pretty incredible for you. Yeah, it was pretty cool to play on the MCG. We don't get too many opportunities to play on there, so to play on there is a, um, is really fortunate. You add to Freo's call list of uh, players signed to the club until 2026 or beyond. That must be exciting to think about as one of the younger players uh, on the list. Yeah, it is really exciting to think about. Um, you know, I've, I'm enjoying my time here and want to spend my time here, and it's great to see that the club reciprocates that, so I'm really happy. You received a lot of credit from your uh, teammates and your coaches for professionalism from the moment you joined the club. How have you found the transition to AFL life? Um, yeah, I guess I was ready for it, um, ready to jump in, jump into it. Um, I think it's presented its challenges, and I'm ready for those challenges, so I'm loving it. Um, take us back to that moment in the room's pregame before the debut Matthew Pavlich hands you the 29 um how do you reflect on on that moment yeah it's a pretty surreal moment to have one of the greats of the club and in the game present you that jumper um it obviously means a lot to the Freo fans and the Freo culture so for me to wear it um is, is really special and something I'm really grateful for we saw some mates in the crowd at and the G uh with some signs uh on the weekend was that a look as you were coming up the race for warm-up looked a, a surprise to you did you expect that there um, I knew they were going to make signs, but I didn't know what they were going to do. So it was a good surprise to see them up there and all up and about and getting around me. So yeah, it was pretty cool. And who so far is kind of taking under, under their wing and we've worked closely with alongside? Yeah, like I'm in the forwards group. So Banfield and, and Sam Swakowski, they've always, um, they've been good for me. Um, good knowledge. Um, they've been showing me around and you know, showing me tips and tricks around the club that I can put into my game. So they've been really good for me. And there are always big games. Another big one this Friday night against the Swans. Um, the vibe amongst the group as a whole must be pretty positive after the win off the Tigers. Yeah, it is. And we're really excited to face a good team in Sydney. So, um, you know, we bring on the challenge and we can't wait. Thanks, Coop. Thank you.